Give him a nod when you're ready. Get it ready, stand by. <laughs> what is up? What's going on, man? I got a special episode for y'all, right? And I'm going to talk about the steel match. So I say about two weeks ago, I went out and shot the steel match, bro. And I did not do well. Stand by. Eight, one, two. Stand by. Five, two. Stand by. Six, nine, five. It finished unload and so clear. Got this steel match, man. I just don't know what the hell was going on, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you where I placed that on this thing. I want to say there was like maybe like 80 people out there. There was 77 people out there. Out of 77 people... I came in 38th, right? And dude, I was just I was just not having a good day on the range. I was shooting my SIG P320, my Frankenstein build, the gun that I absolutely love, but I don't know for some reason I was just having a very hard time like finding the dot on this gun, man. And I think one of the reasons is uh I've been shooting a lot of Hollow Sun and I've been shooting a lot of Trigicon lately. And the brightness on those dots are like extreme, like way brighter than the Sig Romeo 1. Um, and because of that, it's making me reconsider this gun. I think I'm going to rebuild it, maybe do a different slide and go to a different optics, optic system, uh, probably another Hollow Sun or a Trigicon. That's, that's the next plan for this, right? So anyway, I'm out there shooting a the steel match, right? And for those that shoot USPSA in different matches and those that don't really know too much about it, a lot of stuff I'll be shooting is the USPSA, and that's kind of when you're shooting and you're moving, you got targets, you got accuracy, and you got time. With a steel match, it's a little bit different. And I'll sprinkle some footage throughout here so you can kind of see what it is, right? But with a steel match, you're in a static position, you have a course of fire, and it's usually like four or five, maybe six targets, and then there's usually a stop target, and that's the last one you hit. You run through the course of fire, and that's called a string of fire, right? Mm. And then you usually have five or six strings, and whichever one is the one that you have the ready? worst time Stand on, by. they'll throw that one out, and then your total time is the average of, of the five strings. You know, if there's, five, five, if there's six seven. strings, they'll throw out one, and it'll be the average of the five. Or if it's five strings, they'll throw out one, and be the average of the four. And that's kind of like how a steel match works. And... I, I like steel matches. I shoot a little bit of everything. I shoot indoor, I shoot outdoor, I shoot steel, I shoot USPSA, I shoot, I shoot everything. I just like shooting, right? So when I'm shooting a steel match, I'm like having a, like I said, I was having a hard time this day and there was a, a, a good amount of people out there. Like I said, probably like 77 people, almost 80 people out there. One of the guys in my squad was this guy named Alan Coleman, right? And Alan, this joker is a beast, man. I'm going to put like a couple strings of one of his stages on there so you could see it real quick, right? Stand by. Last one. Are you ready? Stand by. Tell me that's not freaking insane. I had made a short of that and I got some of the comments and somebody was like, is he even hitting anything? This joker is hitting stuff, man. He is just so freaking fast, right? And on that day, let me double check real quick. Yeah, on that day, Coleman came in first. So he's, he's a beast, right? He was in my squad and I shoot with him a lot. He's a lot of the USPSA matches and we always talking guns and stuff, right? So when I'm at the match, he's like, dude, what you shooting? And I'm telling him, you know, I got my SIG 320 out here, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, why are you not shooting rimfire? And I'm like, I mean, I don't know. Why, why am I not shooting rimfire? He was like, dude, steel match is for rimfire. You could shoot center fire pistols, but it's probably better to shoot a rimfire and it's a little bit more fun and it, you kind of could be more competitive. And I was like, hmm, that makes sense because I was noticing that the majority of people that shoot these steel matches 
they're usually shooting rimfire, man. And it's a big range of people out there. There'd be like young kids out there. There'd be older gentlemen out there. There'd be older ladies out there. And those jokers are shooting them rimfires and they be rolling, bro. They be rolling. So talking to him, he was like, man, you need to get you a rimfire. So I was like, you know what? I, I got a couple of rimfires that I never really shoot, bro. They just be sitting in the house, right? So one of my rimfires is my, uh, I got an FN 502 Tactical. And that is a solid rimfire gun, double stack. It has the same, um, it's the same size as the 509, same ergonomics, everything. And I have a FN 45 Tactical, which I love. And that, that's what led me to get the 502. So another 22 gun I have, I have a Ruger 1022, right? And I don't have like your average 1022. I got a fully built one. I think I got about maybe $2,500 in my dang on Ruger. And I was telling him this and he was like, dude, that's the gun you should be shooting. And I was like, yeah, I should get it out here. But the way I had it configured, I had um, a Vortex, some Vortex glass on there. I think I had like a four by 16, 44 or something like that. And I'm like, I probably need to reconfigure it with a red dot so that way it'd be more steel match friendly, right? And I'm going to do a whole video talking about that build specifically, but I'm going to show you what this thing looks like. This is that Ruger. And this thing is a bad freaking gun, bro. I took it to the range today and zeroed it in this configuration. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about the specs. I'm kind of just showing you what it looks like. But, bro, this is a badass gun. This is going to change the rimfire game for me. The steel match is going to be so much better, man. And... I think it's going to be on point, man. I'm really looking forward to the next steel match. I'm going to bring my 5.0, my 5.02 tactical out there, and I'm going to bring my 10.22. I'm going to register for two guns. I'm going to shoot the pistol, and I'm going to shoot the dang on rifle. The only thing I need for my 10.22 build is, you know, the 10.22s take like the little box mags, and those box mags holds, I want to say, 10 rounds. And when you're shooting these strings of fire, like I said, they're... There's usually about like maybe six targets on there, maybe like five or six, maybe seven. I've never seen anything more than that. And those little box mags, I know I got, I probably got like maybe 15 of those, right? So I can load them all up, but I think I want the, um, the 15 round mags, like the BX, I think they call the BX 15 or something like that. And they hold 15 rounds. I think I want to at least six of those because if I load those up, you know, when I'm running these matches, if I'm missing something, I'm not going to have to worry about only having 10 shots. You know what I'm saying? If, if that mag holds 15 rounds and there's six targets, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll clean, I'll clean the, um, the string. I could probably run the string twice with one mag. At least that's what I'm thinking. But with that 10 round mag, Mm, I don't know. It's a little too much, too much pressure for too much pressure for me. I don't know if I'm feeling that. So I think what I might do is get some of those um those B. I think they call BX15 mags, right? Maybe they got a, like a bulk deal or something like that. Like maybe like Gun Mag Warehouse or something like that. So I'm gonna check that out. But man, in you know, I'm always talking about these matches, right? If you have guns you have weapons i highly encourage you to get out there and shoot these matches bro go shoot these matches dude i know so many people with guns i, I talk to so many people with guns bro and they're like man i got this i got that i'm like but do you shoot bro do you shoot these jokers go to the indoor range they shoot every once in a while and they out there carrying the wild and i i kind of question their gun discipline like are you really proficient with your weapon system man because shooting indoors and shooting outdoors is two totally different things, bro. Totally different. And then shooting outdoors and shooting and moving, being timed on accuracy and speed, and it's, it's a lot, bro. I highly encourage you, man, to go out there and shoot some of these matches. And then, like, the community is great, man. Everybody that has brought out to these matches and they go shoot, after we get done, I say, how was it? They always be like, dude, I... That was hella fun, man. I, I can't believe I haven't been doing this. I'm like, that's what I'm telling you, man. And then it's like, what is the cost of entry? It's cheap. I want to say like a USPSA match around here is uh, $25, bro. $25 for like four hours of shooting. That's insane. And the way they do it here, if the match is on Saturday, you know, they're setting things up 
on Friday. If you come out and help them set up the day before, they'll let you shoot for free. That's crazy, bro. And then the steel match, I want to say the steel match ain't nothing but 15 bucks, man. I don't know why people aren't shooting these things, man. I'm telling them, y'all need to get out there and then run. Another gun I, I thought about running for a steel challenge is, uh, this is my AR, man, my AR9. This is the first AR9 I ever built. It is a sexy gun. I kind of themed it after the Daniel Defense, and I probably need to do another video talking about this gun too, but this is a bad, this is a badass gun, man, and this is an optic that I completely forgot about, man. I was talking to my buddy, um, we was out shooting one day, and he was like, dude, I missed that Trijicon MRO. I was like, the Trijicon MRO? And he was describing it to me, and I was like, I think I got one of those, and sure enough, I got one just sitting on my gun at the house that I completely forgot about, man. But yeah, bro. The steel match I shot, I came in like midway, 38 out of 77. Wasn't too bad, but I thought I could do better. But in preparation for the next steel match, I'm going to be out there with the right equipment. I'm going to be 22 would up, man, ready to shoot. Hey, if you, if you are liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's very much appreciated. I love the views. I love the comments. Everything, man. Thank y'all so much. I'll catch you next time, man. I'm out. I remember, I don't forget, bitch, I'm everywhere in town Think about the ways to get my bread up